You're watching Sports Chat with the Twins. Today's topic: NBA lockout. Okay, the NBA lockout still in effect, but unlike the NFL lockout, players have different options, and one big option is to go overseas. Now, it's perfectly fine they can go overseas, but with big stars like Kobe Bryant and Darren Williams going overseas, does that hurt the chances? Kobe may be going overseas. It's a 50-50 chance at this point. Yeah, it's 50-50. That's what I meant to say. But Now, with all these stars and possible stars, who knows, maybe Kevin Durant might want to go over there. Who knows? Will, it, will the NBA come back to work? Who knows? I mean... With the NFL lockout, it was a stalemate. So I was going back and forth, and there was a lot of money in hand, but those teams were still making money. Not in the NBA lockout. A lot of teams aren't making money, and the players can go overseas and still get paid. So leave a comment. Will going overseas help or not help the NBA getting back to a normal work schedule? Now here's my co-host for more. Yeah, FIBA just cleared them. It's perfectly fine. FIBA is the federal... International Basketball Association it, it's foreign that's why it's backwards so FIBA has finally cleared everybody to go overseas now that gives the upper hands to the players definitely because they're making money they go overseas they can long if they opt their contract includes an opt-out clause where they come back to United States to play for the NBA once the lockout is over that puts a lot of pressure on the owners because the the parents is this is the players and this is the teams because they, there's no way that the, unlike the NFL lockout where it was only in America really in, in Canada which can't really make it big in Canada you can't bet NBA is not like that at all they can now go overseas make money while the team owners are losing money by nobody showing up the fans are showing up because the basketball is locked out so they need to get their act together and restructure all these incentives and the pay scale and everything so they can get the players. They hardly, no teams will be losing money and everybody, it's a win-win. Let's just hope we don't see a shortened season or no season at all. I don't know what's going to happen. Leave a comment. Do you think, the second comment is, do you think with the, NBA players allowed to go overseas and play. Do you think that the balance of power to the players is greater than the owners, or do you think they're even? Do you think it's like this in favor of the players, or do you think it's even? Let us know below. That's all we got to say. Motherfuckers!